Welcome to The Daily. It's Friday, April 15th with Simon Borg. I'm Jason Seguini. You have until Monday to get your taxes done, but today is the transfer deadline in MLS. That said, we have to start in Portland. What a phenomenal atmosphere it was out there last night. No, it's the home opener for the Portland Timbers, Jason, and they knocked this one out of the park. The Portland Timbers supporters, the Timbers Army, singing the national anthem, the atmosphere they created, the TIFO, uh, the rain. It was an, an unbelievable game, one of the greatest games you can say in MLS history. And importantly for Portland, they actually got the victory in the game. They won it 4-2 thanks to two Jorge Perlaza goals. Yeah, Portland, of the goals they scored, however, it wasn't the Perlaza goals that were key. They were up 3-0. Chicago Fire came storming back, and the key goal was that fourth one, which came in a messy sort of way, and it was actually ruled an own goal. Great win for Portland. John Spencer said he wanted to win this game more than any game he's ever been involved with in his life. We're going to move on now. The transfer deadline in MLS is today. There's a lot of names being thrown about. Simon, can you explain real quick, though, what this transfer deadline means? Yeah, essentially, Jason, any player who's attached to a club right now outside of MLS who wants to come into MLS will need to do that by April 15th or else wait until the summer. So players who are unattached, out of contract, MLS clubs can still sign those players through the summer. Well, we've seen a ton of Colombian players coming into MLS. You look at Freddy Montero, Jorge Perlazo, who scored the goals last night. Plenty of guys have come in, made an impact, and we're hearing about more of them out there. Uh, La Manga Escobar, uh, part of this mix, uh, and obviously Colombian soccer going through some tough times. Clubs can't pay their stars, so those stars looking to MLS. And then you have Kansas City, sporting Kansas City, sure to make a move, it sounds like. Peter Vermees uh, has a few fronts open, so expect some news out of there. Another player whose name is out there, Juho Michaela, Finnish player who scored 108 goals in nine seasons in the Finnish First Division. I can't really tell you what the level is in the Finnish First Division, but the guy can score goals. He's being linked to the Chicago Fire. We'll see if that deal gets done today. We're going to move on to the weekend now. Simon starts on Saturday. Philadelphia Union hosting Seattle Sounders. And the story here is Freddie Montero traveling with the Sounders, but things have been clicking with the Sounders without him. What do they do? Yeah, if Montero missing a couple games because of that wrist surgery. If he comes into the match, he will be wearing a cast to protect the wrist. Uh, but I think he comes off the bench. You leave, leave the team alone, leave what's working on the field, and if they, they bring him on if they need to somehow resolve that back line, the defense that for Philly it's been so tough. All right, well, D.C. United is traveling to Toronto. This is Toronto's second game of the week, but it looks like it's going to be the game where Charlie Davies finally gets his first start. For D.C., that's their big story, Charlie Davies starting a game. But for Toronto, it's Julian de Guzman now, another game where we expect him to start in midfield and take command of this team that's now making strides. New York hosting San Jose. This is a matchup of the first round playoff series last year where San Jose really upset New York, knocked them out of the playoffs. Um, we're going to see Thierry Henry likely play in this game. He was questionable all week. Yeah, for all the alarms that were sounded earlier in the week about that Achilles injury, those have been calmed down. He was in full practice on Thursday. The question here is, it sounds like the Henri Agudelo pairing is not a given. They may go with Rodgers up top. We'll see what happens. All right, well, if you missed Gerald Wenfield, debut last night for Portland. They play again on Sunday against FC Dallas. Should be a tough game for them, but you have to see the spectacle that was a home game for the Portland Timbers. It was phenomenal. Check that out. Enjoy the weekend of action. We'll be back on the Daily on Monday.